Okay, we're going to end with this. So first we're going to solo what our original melody sounded like. And then this is what happens when we reflected it full reverse, which is the fourth line here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 51, Kite. So we re-entered this episode by reflecting that kite is a metaphor for creative tension. Creative tension is when you're creating stuff. And when you fly a kite, sometimes you have to pull tightly on it to hold it against the wind so the wind will lift it. And sometimes you have to let it loose a little so the wind can carry it away and go higher and higher. And if you if it's too loose and there's no wind, it falls over. And if it's too tight, it crashes. So there's kind of this balancing between too tight or tight and loose, tight and loose. Uh, we also had a bunch of other reflection. Uh, but the main thing we did is we kept working with the Russian ditty, which you just heard a little bit of, and we're going to come back to that. But we also finally finished this video edit, and we want to play a few parts of this for you. So you notice that that's playing the Russian ditty. The Russian ditty is the intro music for this. Uh, the cool thing about this is that this presentation was 3D in music. What's your MA? Music is a pleasing succession or combination of sounds. And music awareness is a... And you'll notice there's kind of a hollow sound to it. That's because this was broadcast to YouTube stream by somebody else and blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, oh. Crash, crash, sing. But we were able to do a live floor demo in that stream and we kind of recorded it, re-recorded it from, from the YouTube stream and then we did a... Um, a, an abbreviated edit so that the whole thing is much more uh, quicker. What is the need being met? Communicating the joy of expressing beyond words in sound and image. What is the cross-dimensional thinking involved? Turning music theory color diagrams on paper into 3D paper kits. Thank you. So that's a wrap. I mean, there's more things we could do with it. We could probably edit the sound and make it less hollow. So the other thing we did is we started, ex we, we continued our experimenting. So for example, we saw a cartoon today, uh, Heathcliff, and noticed that it had some notes in there. We said, we wonder what that would sound like. So we went ahead and put that in there and Guess what? This is what it sounds like. And we even kind of analyzed it real quick. It, it, it fits into a C uh, major scale, all white notes there. And then it was, it was kind of a, it was a, it was a tonic and a subdominant, a dominant, and everything else was subdominant. So it's floaty, very floaty. One more time, just for grins. So that was kind of fun. Another thing that we did was we were singing to ourselves again, as we do on our walks. And this is what we sang. Dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum. And so we practiced putting that in, except we wanted it to be bass. So if we solo it for just a minute, you'll hear the piano version as we entered it. And 
And then, for fun, we flipped it over into a three bass guitar, electric and guitar and electric bass. It sounds like that at the end. So, and then we figured out again by selecting all the notes and looking at what um, what was showing that blah 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 blah. It's an E. It's in the E minor. Oops. Now it's got that in there too. E full. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, e, la, la. And again, how would how do you tell that it? We think it's we think it's E minor. So we come down four one. One two three four, and then you look. You notice there's no D flat. There's no G flat. There is an E flat and a B flat and there's no A flat. So again, we have a scale that um, it's a full tonality and it's just not using one of the normal flat notes in a minor scale. I'm sure that made a lot of sense to you. One, two, three, four. So we put it back to where it was and we get. And basically the electric guitar is playing a full seven tone above ma, ba, which was what this was ba, like that so that was fun and then finally we end up with and this is where we're going to wrap up the stream um this was our original uh we call it russian ditty now it's being called the russian ditty because reasons it, number one it does make us think of russian but also We, it turns out we had a previous work from several months ago that we had called Diddy, and we were confusing the heck out of ourselves, but only briefly. And this is what this sounded like, which we heard here, because that was exactly what we did for the, what we did for the, uh, for the video. So that got purposed. So then we switched over to Diddy 2, and this was the fun part. We wanted to experiment with reversing. So the, um, yeah. the main melody sounds like this. And then the reversed, it wasn't just, it wasn't just reflected down, it was, Reflected down and reversed. So that sounds like this. And so what was really fun, and that's how we're going to do, is put them together. Because we were looking for a way to overlay. And here, out we go. Full disclosure, we experimented with a lot of ideas for how to somehow put them on top of each other and have it sound good. Uh, we don't feel like we've quite accomplished that yet, but we don't care. It's part of our innovation and looking for the rule of cool. But in all fairness to the reflected full reverse, let's let it solo and let it play on its own.
And that ends today's stream. What we like about working with this was it really extended our uh, experience working with reflecting, um, reflecting things in place. And we used our new uh, notation, so a G3, which uh, a G3, which is this note here, gets reflected to the. Uh, well, it doesn't. You don't see it here. You'd have to look here to see it. The G3 gets reflected to the root. The low five goes to the high root, blah, 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 blah. But these didn't sound good together, so that's why we're experimenting with the third line where we're swapping it all around. In any event, our ideas for next time are to keep working with the Russian ditty. Uh, Post our brand new completed video, uh, keep experimenting with new compositions, and we've got a new theme idea that we want to want to start working with. Uh, shout outs to Miss Cleo, who kept us inspired, Silent Lurker, who gave us listening within which we can create. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.